We're sitting here with design icon Sally Sirkin Lewis in the J. Robert Scott showroom, commemorating her 40th anniversary in the industry, which is definitely something to celebrate and a perfect place to start. So Sally, can you tell us how you feel having achieved this milestone? I guess it's wonderful. Everybody tells me it's wonderful. <laughs> but I have so much more to do. What is the origin of J. Robert Scott? I did not want to open a typical showroom like you see, uh, where you line up sofas and tables and chairs, and I wanted to do it like a home. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the people who I admired was, one was Paul Springer, one was Tom Britt, who is a designer now, but who then had imported the line of the most beautiful tortoiseshell and horn furniture very Chippendale in style. It was stunning, it was gorgeous. I said, if I could open a showroom with those kind of things, and of course with pace, with the leather and the steel, and then the few of my upholstered pieces and the white cotton cotton and the big palm trees and the batiks. I loved American Indian art and African art, and it was all uh, an amalgamation of wonderful looking things. And so that's how come J. Robert Scott come into being. Your aesthetic that we all know and appreciate in the industry um, is very clean, it's never trend-based. When did you start feeling desirous of designing your own furniture, your own textiles? How did that all come together? Well, really it all came out by accident when all these people started leaving, all these manufacturers, mm -hmm. and particularly Carl Springer because mm -hmm. he had like 95 pieces on my floor. And when he decided to open his own showroom. Ah, oh, I was devastated. I have to design furniture to put in this space. He forced me into it. Do you have any particularly favorite pieces? The Ombre collection, because that was an outgrowth of my frustration at not painting, mm. loving to do watercolors, working with the people in my finishing department. You know, when you're painting and you're working with watercolor, it's light and then if you, it gets darker and darker as the water comes out of the brush, that's what I want to see on furniture. And when we accomplished that, I think that was the highlight of my career. When you are looking to design today, or if you're looking for inspiration, where do you go? Inspiration comes from everywhere. I have been blessed with a staff who stands behind me, who believes in me, has confidence in me, and wants to help all the time. So, uh, you know, I've had a great life in this business. Thanks for joining us for J. Robert Scott's 40th anniversary celebration. I'm Ariane Nardo with Interiors Magazine, and thank you for watching Editor TV.